Hello and hope everyone is doing well. Today is our part 4 of the beginner's guide of Windows Server Active Directory. So let's see what we have covered so far. So we have seen what a directory service is all about. We have seen the Windows NT architecture. We have also seen the active directory architecture and uh, we have seen the concept of a single master operation in the world of active directory. So let us summarize the architecture of active directory. So I'm taking this summary in say every session because it's very important. So there's no single master architecture like Windows NT in the world of active directory. Every domain controller has a read write copy of Active Directory database. And uh, the systems administrators can make changes on any domain controllers. So these changes will be automatically replicated to all the domain controllers uh, in our Active Directory domain. And all the domain controllers are peers of one another. So this is the basic summary and let's take up with the agenda for today's session today's session we are going to cover the the structure or the hierarchy of our active directory so let's get in so let us understand the hierarchy of active directory or the structure how it is structured how it is orchestrated so the structure of Active Directory is a container based. So everything in the world of Active Directory is a container. Okay, there is a container and we have objects inside those containers. The structure comprises of uh, three main components or you can say containers. Forest, domain and a tree so these are the three main containers or components of our active directory so let's look at say each container one by one so let's understand what a forest is all about so an active directory forest is a collection of domains which is a single schema a single configuration partition and a single global catalog so we are going to cover what is schema, configuration partition and global catalog say in depth in our upcoming sessions. But uh, for just for the time being, just rem uh, just say uh, remember that say uh, forest can be say defined as collection of domains which shares a single schema, single configuration partition and a single global catalog. So let us understand the concept of forest in a graphical manner. So an active directory forest is always say, uh, represented by a rectangle and a domain is always represented by a triangle. So we have a rectangle and a triangle and the name of this domain is contoso.com and this is the first domain in our forest so as this is the first domain in this forest it's also called as a forest root domain and the entire forest is identified by the forest root domain name so this forest will be identified by the name contoso.com and we can have multiple domains in a single forest say let's say east.contoso.com west.contoso.com and every domain will have its own domain controllers so if we can have multiple domain controllers in a single domain so this is what active directory forest is let's understand the concept of domain now so a domain uh, is a fundamental unit of Active Directory. An Active Directory domain contains that sits or uh, it's a container which sits directly below the forest container. So the domain container is inside the forest container. 
a domain houses other containers and objects below it the domain is a logical group of network objects such as users computers printers file shares and other devices okay that shares a single active directory database so a domain will always have a single active directory database which comprises of your users computers printers file shares and other devices so an active directory domain is a logical group of objects that shares common administration security and replication settings so in our upcoming sessions we are going to cover administration security and active directory replication in in detail so let us understand the concept of domain with the help of a picture so this is how a domain is contoso.com is our domain and as this is a forest root domain the name of this forest again is contoso.com and we can say configure more than one domains in a single forest so let's say testing.contoso.com dev.contoso.com so it's up to the organization what naming convention they want to use so as an administrator we need to say uh, keep one thing in mind or just one thing to notice a forest is a security boundary for an administrator like us so objects in different forests will not be able to talk with each other until and unless the administrators of each forest configure a trust between them so let's say if we have sikontoso.com as a forest and we have another say nw traders another forest so two the objects between these forests will not be able to talk with each other until and unless the administrators of both the forests configure a trust between them so we can say the forest is a security boundary for any administrator and a domain is a management boundary for an administrator so the objects for a given domain are stored in a single active directory database and can be managed together so we can say that forest is a security boundary and a domain is a management boundary so let us understand uh, what active directory tree is all about a tree is all about so an active directory tree is a collection of domains within a microsoft active directory network now the term tree refers to the fact that each domain has exactly one parent domain leading to a hierarchical tree structure so there is a parent child relationship so whenever we have a parent child relationship the parent and the child becomes this structure is called as a tree so let us see this tree structure in a graphical format so this is our forest and this is a forest root domain contoso.com and this is a a tree so we have two domains dev.contoso.com and testing.contoso.com so the parent domain over here is dev.contoso.com and the child is testing.contoso.com so if you want to configure say a child domain uh, while configuring our active directory it will give you an option how you want to configure your active directory so we can select that okay please uh, say uh, we need to select that configure this domain as a child domain so we have to provide the parent domain name so this is how the parent child relationship and we can call this particular structure as a active directory tree or it can be somewhat like this so contoso.com is a parent domain west.contoso.com is a child for contoso.com and east.contoso.com again is a child for west.contoso.com or it can be somewhat like this so we can have multiple trees in a single forest it, it depends on the the 
the business okay the design of your active directory the architect who has designed it so it can we can have multiple trees in a single active directory forest so this was end of part 4 i hope you have enjoyed part 4 and you have understood the hierarchy or the structure of active directory in part 5 we'll be say diving into our fsml rules flexible single master operation rules and uh, we'll be discussing the first rule that is the schema master hope you have enjoyed today's session thank you for joining if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you again and have a great day